The top two teams in the National League to this point of the season going head to head. We're here to talk about Will Smith, but I want to touch on the standing ovation for a returning player situation, sort of a follow up from earlier this year when Jim Wolf, this is the same crew, by the way, Jim Wolf was behind home plate and called a pitch fly elation on Cody Bellinger in his first return game to LA early this year when Bellinger took too long to acknowledge the crowd and the clock hit eight. This time, however, a few months to think about it, crew chief Alan Porter behind home plate stops the clock to allow Freddie Freeman some time for his ovation. What a concept! I'm glad to see there's some flexibility there that wasn't at the beginning of the year. And as for Will Smith, this happened last year. 31 years old in his 10th big league year. That's Atlanta batter Marcelo Suna, who hits Will Smith in the mask with a backswing, follow through under high school girls. This gets further complicated by this game in April 2023. We're gonna foul. This time it's a foul ball off Smith's mask. Plate umpire Brian Knight goes out, gives him some time, batter checks to see if he's okay. But a few days later, Dodgers put him on the concussion list. Comes back, played for a little bit, but we're only like a month later, now when Osuna comes up in the fourth inning. Osuna leads off and pops the first one sky high. Now Osuna's backswing hasn't changed much, it doesn't look like. Here's two pitches later. So that got Will Smith on the backswing, flied the left field, and caught by Peralta. Smith not happy. Players come together, umpire does what you should do. Fortunately, the on-deck batter gets the Braves player. The umpire takes care of Smith. Roberts comes out. Porter talks to both of them. And so soon it goes back to the dugout. So we're calm. Why are the bullpens on the field? I, I digress. For Smith, it's a repeat incident. Same batter on the same type of a backswing hits him in the head. Plus, then you get a concussion, not involving Osuna, but you get one, you're coming back, repeated hits to the head can hurt concussions. That's the reason I'm off the field, by the way. So I'm sympathetic to that. The question for us from a rules perspective is, did either Osuna or Smith or both violate any rule in this incident? Like, is that wide of a backswing itself a rules violation? He got to catch her pretty good on that. The only time backswing appears in the book is 6A3A4, a batter is out for illegal action when they throw their bat in a fair foul territory, hit a catcher, including the glove, and the catcher was attempting to catch a pitch with the runner on base and or the pitch was a third strike. This is obviously not that situation. There are no runners on and that was not the third strike. Will Smith just said, I know, but that's not the first time you've done it, if I read his lips correctly. Yeah. The rules comment acknowledges backswing contact does happen and what we call soft interference is unintentional backswing contact. That's his normal swing. That's yeah. his normal follow through. Now this is only about a catcher trying to make a play, so obviously doesn't apply on a fly ball to the outfield like the Osuna play, but it's important to note the rules acknowledge this does occur. If you're intentional, of course you're ejected. Very simple, but unintentional contact being what it is, let's talk geometry of why it can happen and if the catcher can do stuff to prevent this. Go back boys, nothing to see here. Everyone ready for some math? Let's nerd out. This diagram from the rule book. We know that the mid batter's box to the back of home plate is eight and one half inches in red. Subtracting that from three feet gives us two feet, three and one half inches from the back of the batter's box to the back of home plate. Let's make it purple. We subtract that from eight feet, which is the back of the plate to the back of the catcher's box. That gives us a catcher's box depth of five feet, eight and one half inches. Turn to Osuna's physical arm length. For a 6'1 man, we know the average arm length is about 35 inches. Accounting for the bent elbow, it's 32 inches. We know Osuna uses a 34 inch bat. 32 plus 34 is 66 inches or 5 feet 6 inches. The catcher must be at least 5 feet 6 inches behind Osuna's back foot to be safe. The catcher's box, however, is only 5 feet 8 and 1 half inches, which leaves only 2 and 1 half inches of space for the catcher to work with to be totally safe. So what we have just proven here is even if everyone is standing or crouching legally at the back of the boxes, this contact is unavoidable sometimes. Look at the freeze frame of Ozuna's arm, nearly fully extended. So maybe the bent elbow length estimate is two inches too low. And if that's the case, there's like half an inch of extra space for Smith to work with, not feasible. Even assuming Osuna chokes up by another inch or two, it's just mathematically an inevitable incursion. So I'm kind of surprised it doesn't happen more often. 
One final note, in high school, all throughout high school, follow-through contact by the batter on the catcher is illegal, but just like MLB, it requires a play on the runners or a play at home, not a fly ball to left field. However, you could theoretically get Osuna out for being outside the batter's box if that foot was actually behind that back line, but that's not what we have here. We have the foot on the line, or so it is ruled. In conclusion, Without any proof of nefarious intent, this is a legal play. Thanks for the question and this mathematical proof I wasn't planning on doing five minutes ago. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at Close Call Sports. Subscribe here, and we'll see you on the site. Go back, boys. Nothing to see here.